Oh, so nearby Lucas, I'm here with my bucket of skeleton. I mean, yeah. Who are we talking about today? Uh, we're going to be talking about someone that could very easily break that skeleton. Bane. <laughs> so nearby Lucas, what do you know about some Bane? Well, the most obvious thing that you have to mention first is just the backbreaker. No, the backbreaker. Take that Batman. Can we recreate it with like this skeleton? Because it's like he's proper on the comic panel. It's just like that, like right over the knee in it, like all the way. He folds Batman in half when he does that. <laughs> yeah. it's great. But oh, it's, like, it's a skeleton. It's chill. You're having a good day. Like he looks how I feel right now. To be fair, the hangover that I've got. But um... <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's how I feel. So I feel today, but uh, as usual, you can find a link to the wiki reading from below. But, uh, Lucas, would you like to start with a quote from Mr. Bane? Is it just Bane? No, because one of the things people might not know about Bane, because, you know, pop culture osmosis might have taught you that Bane's like, you know, he's a big, strong dude, which he is. But, like, that archetype, like, big, hulking brute, uh, he's not really fair to apply to Bane, because he's very smart. He's, like, one of the smartest people in all of the DC universe, isn't and, he? Yeah, and he just so happens to be able to, like, snap a man's spine like a dry twig. We have a quote from him here. Do you know who I am? I am not a joke, I am not a riddle, I am not a bird or a cat or a penguin. I am not a scarecrow or a plant or a puppet. I am not your broken friend, I am not your regretful teacher. I am not a child's fairy tale. I am not a circus act here to amuse and frighten you. I am not another of your mad men howling at the moon. And I am not some rich boy playing dress up. I am Ben. Oh, that is a withering takedown, isn't it? It's like, because each one of those things is a reference to one of his villains. Like, I'm not one of these knobheads who like cartoonishly swans around committing like various like themed capers. I'm here to fuck you up. And I really enjoy as well that a lot of the time Bane figures out who Bruce Wayne is. Well, he figures out Bruce Wayne is Batman. How, how does he figure it out? The richest <laughs> man in the world. It's like, is, is, is it the Nolan films where he says, you need to order like eight million bat ears yeah. to, like, to, to hide the fact that you're Batman? But anyway, Bane was an international super criminal who used intellect and immense strength enhanced by a drug called Venom in his furious and violent pursuit for power. He once, he once set his sights on Gotham City, making him an enemy of Batman. You know, rich white dude beating up poor people. He doesn't necessarily beat up poor people. Sometimes he beats up rich weirdos as well. Yeah, and the mentally ill. Yeah. And the mentally ill. And then he sends them to a prison that they escape from every day. <laughs> the, revol the revolving door prison. I always imagine like, when he throws Joker in, it's just like, whoa, straight back out. <laughs> Lucas, like... <laughs> idea of just Batman sends Joker to work and he just walks back out. <laughs> so he gets out every, it's like, what is it in the Injustice games where Superman just kills Joker and Batman's like, you can't do that. And it's like, why? He's killed an entire city's worth of people. And he keeps just getting let free. Like, he has escaped like 50 times under your watch. Under mine, he's never going to commit another crime again. And then there's just Arkham Asylum where he's like, lures Batman into capturing him so he can just take Arkham over instead. It's like, yeah, we're better than the criminals. Like, really, Batman? <laughs> really? So would you like to know some basic information about Bane? I mean, yes. Yeah. Well, I can't tell you anything. His real name, unknown. Main alias, Bane. Other alias is Batman. Oh, man, that's terrifying. <laughs> Why is Batman so jacked? <laughs> but like, he's gonna look like a fucking Todd McFarlane redesigned. Oh. Ugh! Stacked Batman. I like the idea that he's still wearing Bruce Wayne's armor though. Because <laughs> it's really tight. <laughs> Just sticking it on his arm. He looks like a brute from Halo. Do you know they got all like the elite armor strapped to him? Oh man, do you know what we can mention now though? Because of that, um, it reminds me of a great moment in like, the animated Batman cartoon where Superman takes over for Batman. Because Batman goes missing and Superman turns up to look for him. And um, Robin says, oh, put Batman's outfit on because the criminals need to know that Batman's here. And Superman, dressed as Batman, beats up Bane. But now imagine how fucking terrified the villains of Gotham are of Batman. When they hear that, he just threw Bane across the room. So they're like, well, he's just a normal dude, right? He's just a dude. It's like, no. Just, I remember once he was bulletproof and threw like a guy a million foot through the air. Yeah, he just punched Bane across Gotham City. And Lucas, what would you like to learn about Bane? We've got powers and abilities, and then his origins. Um, I mean, we just have to do it, don't we, Carl? We have to go straight to powers and abilities, because I, I don't give a fuck about anything else. I just want to know, how buff is Bane? How buff does he get from taking drugs? How many spines can he break at once? <laughs> Probably a lot. Yeah. Imagine if he just grabbed like four people. <laughs> The thing is, I can't imagine that with Bane. That'd be a great comic panel. Anyway, so, powers. Venom usage. Bane's use of the super steroid, Venom, 
allows him to temporarily enhance his physical functions to superhuman levels. In particular, his strength, endurance, and speed. His body sensors and healing abilities are also augmented. They need to periodically inject himself with venom to retain these abilities. Although overuse can result in temporary insanity. Ooh. And one of the things I like about Venom is that they keep telling Bane it's dangerous, but because he's so smart, he knows exactly how much to take. Yeah, because that's the secret of Bane, isn't it? Like everyone else overdoses on it straight. It's like, no, I know I have to take just enough to give me super strength, but not to drive me insane, so I retain my intellect. So I have, like, the, the like Professor Hulk thing, isn't it? I've, like, got the strength and the intelligence. Like, yeah. I am, like, so threatening because I can kick your ass, but I can explain to you why I'm doing it. <laughs> Bane has a great cameo in Batman Beyond where Venom starts getting made again in the future. So it's got to be Bane. It's got to be Bane. And, like, uh, Terry McGinnis, like, the new Batman, goes and to find Bane, and he's just in a wheelchair, and it's like, oh, no. Is he still really buff, though? No, he's just a frail old man in a wheelchair, uh, right. and he can't move. I wasn't sure if it was just he's got A, he's super buff, and B, his wheelchair's really buff as well. <laughs> it's really buff and he just goes really fast. <laughs> anyway, superhuman strength. The primary effect of Venom is that it enhances strength to low superhuman level, depending on how much Venom has been injected. Bane has been shown to be stronger than Batman even without the Venom. Yeah. And keep in, mind, keep in mind, Batman is like, all he does is work out. But I think Bane does a lot of working out anyway. He's not a small guy generally in the comics. Yeah. While injected with Venom, he's able to bend thick steel. When Bane injects the maximum amount of Venom that is considered healthy, he becomes capable of lifting about two tons. Although he can exceed his limit and lift three tons, though not without temporarily losing control of himself. I want to know who decided what the healthy amount of Venom to inject into yourself is. Bane did. Also, I love how specific it is to exactly two tons. Not about exactly two tons. You put like an extra bit on top and he can't move. And enhance reflexes. Under the effects of Venom, Bane can react as fast as the fittest human alive, he has fought numerous opponents while applying tactics and supporting his massive frame. That's thing is so fast. That's what's so scary about him. It's like, the one thing I like about that Ang Lee Hulk movie is that they show how fast the Hulk is. Yeah. Because like, you know, the Marvel movies show like how strong the Hulk is, but like, no, he's able to exert that much strength with his legs. And like, when they just show him running and they've got like a jet chasing the Hulk, and he's just running, it's like, he's so fast. <laughs> How do you catch this like, little green man? Superhuman durability. Under the effects of Venom, he can withstand powerful blows, multiple bullets and explosions with mere scratches and bruises. Explosions? Yeah. Cow. I like the idea as well that bullets just cause minor scratches. Yeah. He's not hard to aim at him, is he? He's massive. And it's miss. <laughs> Accelerated healing. He uses Venom as a form of medicine to heal from injuries, poisons, and diseases. Depending on how devastating the injury, Bane needs to inject a certain amount of Venom into himself. When faced with extreme wounds, such as many broken bones or terminal poisons and diseases, he needs to inject an unhealthy amount of Venom. Is it really an unhealthy amount of Venom if it cures, and I quote, a terminal disease? <laughs> At that point, it's just the lesser of two evils, yeah. isn't it? Which means, technically, Venom can cure cancer. And Bane uses it. He doesn't sell it. I don't know if that's right, though, because I think... It says terminal diseases. So a disease that is going to kill you. And it doesn't clarify what it is, so I'm going to guess, like, at least, at the very least, it can cure a disease that's guaranteed to kill you. Yeah, Which true. means it's effectively yeah. a cure-all for anything. Like, you should be... Why are you not selling it? Why don't you just make it and sell it to people? Because that's the thing, like, get that in, uh, approved by the FDA, billionaire. And then just buy out Wayne Enterprise, and then you don't know more about that. Because you don't know more money. Just like, just like, that's what Bane does in the third movie, isn't it? He just, that's without, true. Isn't it great as well that without money, Batman's useless? The instant he loses his money, you can't be Batman anymore. I still, I love that movie of, oh, well, Mr. Wayne, sorry, you're completely broke because we have no way of knowing that someone manipulated the stock market. When someone shot up the stock market with an AK-47 the, the day, the day before, day. on the news. Oh, then they turn his light, it's like... He, Batman, the smartest man in the world, had no other assets. Every penny he had was in Wayne Enterprises. Mm -hmm. Did like, he not diversify his assets a little bit? He did, bit, no. Though. He didn't listen to Wu-Tang Financial at all, did he? <laughs> so even his house. Sure, his house is worth something. But he still sits in that giant mansion. Well, they you turn think his lights... he could downsize a little bit? No, they turn his lights off, don't they? Yeah. It's like, what? Are you telling me that Bruce Wayne doesn't own the power company? Uh, but are you telling me that Bruce Wayne doesn't keep all the lights off in his mansion anyway? <laughs> Because they have that, it's like the day, the day it happened, the city's like, so how far on his, behind his bills was Bruce Wayne? They're over here, abilities, escapology. Bane is exceptionally skilled in the arts of escaping and infiltration and has managed to break out of Penadura, which is arguably the most heavily fortified prison in the world. 
as well as various maximum security centers, including Arkham Asylum. And then Batman just gets out by just climbing up a wall. Tactical yeah. analysis, he's also highly devious. He crafts the escape from Arkham Asylum of all of Batman's enemies. Oh, that's amazing. That's am just, he makes all of them escape at once. Um, and a superb strategist and tactician who has committed various famous war manuals, um, such as Sun Tzu's Art of War, to memory. Oh, speaking of which, he has a, a photographic memory. That might be helpful. It borders on absolute total recall. He's allowed to memorise countless skills, disciplines and facts that he's taught himself over the years. I mean, yeah, that, that does help in learning every yeah, fact Yeah, and what world. he doesn't mention here is that um, Bane is so smart he figured out that Bruce Wayne was Batman, despite him being fucking obvious. <laughs> it's like, oh, the billionaire who never goes out. And then every single time some shit goes down when Bruce Wayne's there, all of a sudden, Bruce Wayne disappears and Batman arrives within 30 seconds. Yeah, and I think they have it in the second one, don't they? They see Bruce Wayne walk off. You've got a panic room and just ignores everyone. <laughs> that person there thinks that Bruce Wayne just left them to die. Yeah. Uh, they're not going to be donating any money to his function, are they? And then we've got here, martial arts. Bane is a highly formidable combatant who has not only mastered, but also created several forms of martial Bane Fu. He's doing Bane Fu. I hope it's all bat breakers. <laughs> I hope it's just all bat breakers all day. That's all it is. It's just a new form of martial arts that revolves entirely around beating up Batman. Every move is just a different way to pick them up and twist them before you break the bar. You know, every move is a different way to counter Batman. <laughs> like, specifically to fight Batman. It's like, okay, here's what you do. You grab his cape and then you just work the body. Here's the anti batarang punch. Just punch it back. And then we have trivia. Just one bit of trivia. The Joker hates Bane, finding him an utter disappointment and failure of a villain. He's like the most he beat Batman! What did you do, Joker? It says uh, he vows that he'll one day kill Bane for wasting Alfred's life on Robin instead of Batman, but misses his chance when Bane's mysteriously killed by an unknown, unrelated party using Joker Venom. So that's the spoiler for our I love that though, he's a failure. It's like he figured out who Batman was and beat him and then became Batman. But then Joker just got pissed and poisoned him. 